Hello YouTube, back on here so soon, but after being off of YouTube for almost two weeks, I have a lot to catch up on and a lot of things to say, naturally. So I know I have a lot of ladies on here that follow me and my audience is mostly ladies, but I don't want to forget about the men because I do have men on here that follow me as well. And today's video is gonna be for men i actually did a live session on tiktok last night um briefly going over these three tips for men in dating but um i just i don't think that i articulated my message very well um sometimes i just go through phases um because i am a woman where i cannot um articulate what is actually happening in my mind and in my heart <laughs> um oh the joys of us women yeah that's that could be a whole video in itself but anyways let's talk about some things that men need to know um in in dating and in finding quality women and how to you know achieve the best results in attracting a quality woman so sometimes i can be a bit ignorant that this stuff is still happening that there are so many men out there that are really struggling in the dating department and um, not understanding why they are achieving the results that they are getting and just having some skills right having some developing some skills in their dating life um and 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 hoping you know for them to show up in the best way possible to attract a woman that is you know quality and at the end of the day, we're always going to attract our reciprocal. So however we are showing up, we are going to attract the reciprocal of us, okay? But um, if we can, you know, learn some knowledge and, and get some help from dating coaches of uh, things that, you know, are going to appear more high value and less low value uh, to women, then I'm here to help give those those dating tips okay um just to, it's 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 to it's to say it you know in a genuine way to put this information out there not to shame or you know make you feel bad for how you're showing up that's never the point um it's just to genuinely help you become more self-aware and you know do some tweaking and you know see how you can make the situation better for you and you know your partner overall okay so number one friend groups men pursue women alone okay now i can have so much grace for this i really really can because men are very they're, they're weakened they're feminized today um they somewhat have an excuse because they're walking on eggshells with us um the media has definitely had a lot of push in that narrative of men having to walk on eggshells around us so i give grace to you know some of the things but to some things there is no excuse and one of them is not having the confidence to walk up to a woman tell her hello you know introduce yourself and learn her name and you know give her a compliment that is going to show confidence testosterone by nature is confidence women are instantly drawn to a confident independent man now it is women who flock in community groups um we thrive on connection estrogens are very connecting feminine energy um is is empowering it's supportive um it comes together right that is why you see women who, you know, you always see girls who go to the bathroom together. It's like it, it, men are always questioning, why do women always go to the restroom together? You know, it's just like it's a girl thing. It's a feminine energy thing. And so for men, they're more independent. You know, they're more uh, competitive. So with acknowledging that women want to see that confidence that a man can exude to go up to a woman and, you know, make her feel special, make her feel like. Um, 
he's like the only one he, that she that he has his eyes on and he can introduce herself his self excuse me um and give her a compliment right women like they will melt to that now well i guess i okay let me rephrase that if she is a feminine woman she will be able to gracefully receive that if she is a masculine woman she will not okay but i would say majority of women um they will be able to receive a guy who is not too overbearing you know not coming on strong and aggressively um even though testosterone is more of the aggressive hormone um just not being too overbearing but like i said pursuing her walking up to her independently without having a flock of men you know by his side cheering him on giving him that confidence boost or whatnot women don't like that she will respect him more for the fact that she that he's able to show that confidence in himself um and that he didn't need you know some guy talking for him or some guy like you know two, two guys like it, it gets kind of confusing to women too you know they're kind of like okay which which one of you are the ones you know which which one of you are after me which one of you are on the pursuit which one of you had the idea to walk up to me is it you or did you try to give him the you know this is it's just a lot of confusion for women to have to be guessing like if a guy really does uh like her okay so women really need that reassurance that they are special and the chosen one um so be confident be testosterone driven confident in your pursuit um to walk up to a woman and grant her a compliment and start up a conversation ask for her number you know whatever it is be yourself right i i don't ever want you to be inauthentic and you know show up as someone that you're not but simply having these skills of um having that confidence to just start talking to a woman and um yeah you know appearing to be the most high value to her because women really uh, they respect and value that confidence in a man okay and this goes deep it goes deeper than just oh he walked up to me and you know he he took my number it goes much deeper than that I, you know psychologically i promise you it it means something much deeper okay number two spending money spending money 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 oh boy this is always a very taboo subject <laughs> to pretend that money is not a factor uh in attraction and in relationship is bullshit it's i mean it's complete bullshit we can live we can pretend to live in this like fantasy world where money just does not matter um as some feminine men like to believe um uh, but that's just not that that's never going to be reality especially for women okay money is uh money equates to resources resources equates to protection and provision you want to get a quality woman you must not be afraid to spend money on her okay now this could probably be a video in itself honestly because this is like such a huge taboo topic um and it could go so many different directions of conversation but here's what i will say spending money on a woman and not being afraid to show um that you're not afraid to like buy her a meal buy her you know personal products um take care of her when you're around her you know making sure that she's well fed paying for all the dates the the the, the, the tickets the milkshakes the ice cream you know the drinks whatever it is like the entirety of the date and never allowing a woman to take out her wallet in front of you we have normalized so much of women taking out their wallets and feeling that they like they have to reciprocate um with a guy 
because he paid for the first date. I mean, I have ladies on here who, you know, come to me for advice every day. And some of them say, well, I paid for this date um, or I paid for par partial of the date because he paid for the first half, whatever. And I'm just like, this is really so sad to me. Ladies, you cannot fall and feel truly protected in his presence if he is not protecting and providing for you with his resources, which equates to money in today's world. Okay, wait, I'm, now I'm talking to the ladies, wait. <laughs> Let me get back on track talking to the men. Men, do not be afraid to spend money, okay? Whatever problems that you are dealing with, you know, uh, the last woman I had, you know, she, she took all my money or she left me with nothing, okay, that is not the lady in the past from your past relationship, your ex, or the lady that's in front of you right now. That is none of their problems. That is your problem because you allowed that to happen, okay? So any, uh, all of these fears that are attached to you now, um, having to spend money has nothing to do with the woman that's in front of you that you're trying to pursue. It has everything to do with you and your, you know, uh, deep internal issues of um, spending money maybe recklessly or irresponsibly, you know, whatever it was. Um, and, and she maybe took all the money and, you know, ended up leaving you in the end. Um, I actually do talk about this, you know, the, the real fears of, of men um, when they do invest into women financially um, and, and, and what comes from, you know, them losing all of that. I, I, you know, I talk about that here on this channel as well. But nonetheless, if you really want to keep a quality woman, you know, keep her, you know, springing back to you just as much as you're springing back to her, you need to always make sure that she is provided for in your presence right so so don't be afraid to invest the money into you know nice dinners um for the experience of the dinner with her you know taking her to a nice restaurant making sure that if she needs any personal products when you're around her um you will provide that for her this does not mean the extremes of oh I'm, I'm taking her to louis vuitton and buying her gucci and chanel bags because i just met her two days ago that is actually completely um not responsible of course on men's behalf but also for a woman that's actually more of a red flag right because women do they view that as um a man who is not financially stable and able to really protect and provide for her in the long run like for a short minute it might wow her um and she might be you know in awe of you know how much money you're spending on her but um in the end that doesn't appeal to most level-headed feminine women um because you know they like as 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 a masculine container that masculine container is there to provide safety and security, okay? And safety and security does come in the form of not only physical protection, but also money protection, okay? So the feminine energy is going to be more of the one, typically, to have more of the, like, irrational behaviors and irresponsible behaviors with money. And masculine energy typically has... Um, exhibits more of those behaviors that are more conservative with money. So, you know, not, none of the extremities of, you know, taking her to Chanel and blowing all your money because you met her two days ago. I'm not talking about being, you know, that crazy and, and spending money, but just finding a middle ground of, you know, you're not afraid to take her on nice dinners, you know, pay for everything when you're around her, you know, never allowing her to take out her wallet um, and that sort of thing. There is a middle ground and a healthy balance that you can come to and find um, find that works for, for the both of you. Okay, and thirdly, what men need to know about pursuing women is chemistry. Yes, 
Sexual chemistry is very important for men, not for women. Notice I said not for women, for men to have, okay? When they are pursuing a woman, um, in order for a man to have the drive to pursue a woman, he needs to feel a sexual attraction for her, sexual chemistry. And let's talk about the definition of chemistry. So chemistry, by biological definition, um, is is this uh pheromones it's it's an it's an attraction to the opposite sex through pheromones pheromones is a scent that the female puts out when she has the high estrogen levels that a man can unconsciously pick up on so it's it's on a hormonal level that he is sexually drawn to her okay um, this is very important for men to have sexual attraction um, because that is the prerequisite. If they don't have sexual attraction for her in the beginning, um, then it may never develop. And sexual attraction is what keeps the two, um, the, 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 the guy springing back to her and the two coming together um, and keeping that relationship glued, right? It's, it's like that's what keeps the relationship bonded and i know there's a lot of confusion out there about sexual desire you know it's it's very much shamed um maybe i guess in more religious groups i've never personally dealt with that but it i guess it is you know shamed in in or not talked about in religious groups but it is most definitely shamed in the media for men so there are also very confused on where they stand with women sexually and they're like questioning should i you know am, am, am i wrong for feeling sexual attraction for her should i suppress this like sexual desire that i'm having for this beautiful hot sexy woman no it is something beautiful it is something to be honored it is something to be celebrated but we have to come together as a whole to recognize that this is a beautiful gift and when it is used in the container that it is meant to be used in um, in order to come together and, and create higher love and come together spiritually then it is something to be very honored in a man okay so the point is is that if a man pursues a woman ladies if a man is pursuing you if he is coming up to you you know wanting to get your number wanting to take you out on a date and he takes you out on a date it is because he is sexually attracted to you he wants to score he wants to get in there <laughs> and um try to make a baby with you okay you know some of the most unspeakable evils that we witness in this world is almost always um, when we go outside of God's divine guidelines for us and engage in sexual immorality and um, using sexual acts outside of its container, okay, as in um, husband and wife, okay? So anyways, um, I could go on and on about this I, I could literally talk for hours <laughs> on all of this stuff but let me shut up let me shut up because i don't want to lose my audience here um anyways i'm getting i'm gonna get cut off soon so uh make sure you're following me and subscribed here on youtube if you like this kind of content and find it to be very helpful i hope that this was very helpful to you today and if you have suggestions for a future video or comments or questions, make sure you leave them down below. Ladies, I have a feminine dating course that I have just released that I think is going to be very helpful for, helpful for some of you navigating through the dating world. So if you are interested in investing into your dating experiences, you can go check that out down below as well. Until the next video, I will see you guys next time. Love you.